Hello and welcome to episode 17 of the Voice AU vlog with Van der Stoel. I'm very sorry that this is coming to you day late. Um, as people who follow me on the Twitter would know, um, yesterday was a very sad day for me because my husband and cousin Peter left me um, and he took Trevor, our cat, with him when he left um, and I was very upset and I couldn't watch the voice so um, before he left I made sure he set up the video recorder so it could record it so that is why I am bringing this vlog to you a day late um, anyway more about that in a moment firstly let me just talk about the voice um, that's what you're here to talk about of course so it was a really great evening uh, last night um, one of my favorites Mitchell Anderson was singing uh, he's the old guy the other old guy with the curly hair um, look Mitchell I thought he was so sexy that's what uh, Seal wanted you to be and and even though he is old he was very sexy um, I also think his dad who is even older is also sexy and the two of them cuddling is very lovely and sexy too probably for some people um, so Mitchell I bought your album uh, your single because I think you're fantastic um, Nicholas Roy, um, I didn't know this but Nicholas is apparently a midget, um, Seal was talking all about his height and how he had to be bigger and I, they didn't really make anything of this in the blind so I didn't know that that was a problem but he certainly did seem a lot bigger in the end when he was talking to Seal, uh, it might have been just because he was standing on a little platform but, but uh, certainly he felt like a lot bigger in his performance. Jack Stone was lovely in Team Seal, uh, Jack what a beautiful voice and you did the lovely music theatre acting which I don't always like I like the amateur acting better but uh, this time I was really impressed with the blending of the acting and the singing and the interpretive movement picked up a couple from my vlog well done Jack uh, Delta got booed uh, when she said that she didn't like Jack so much and I think it's just a little bit of jealousy Delta come on because she was so lovely with the singing and everything but I think you know Delta is one of the people I suppose out of the four judges who could make comments on the acting because she is an actor herself she has done neighbours then Sean Kirk, um, he was lovely. He sang a song dedicated to his girlfriend. I, I don't think it was a great choice to dedicate to her because some of the lyrics said, Sure, I can accept that we're going nowhere, but one last time, let's go there. Lay down beside me. So, not sure if you still have a girlfriend after singing that song to her. Caterina Torres was a superstar total superstar she looked absolutely amazing when I did think it was lovely how in the voice they do dress up the girls very daggy in the beginning so that when they come out to do their songs they just look incredible I mean look at that you know she's like a model in that photo and you know she had her hair and a ponytail and no makeup and so it really makes a difference um, James Walker I had completely forgotten about you sorry James I didn't remember who you were until you started singing and then I couldn't understand a word you were saying and I went yes that's right that's the boy with the diction problem uh, it, it seems that Ricky picked that up as well um, but he do have a lovely tone and uh, and I did think you were uh, lovely but I don't think I'm not sure you're going to get through because you really do have to speak properly for people to understand the words um, Luke Kennedy time to say goodbye Luke I bought your album too what a fantastic song that was and such a big singer and lovely in your he sang it in a different language Portuguese or I think it was or German I couldn't quite tell but it was a lovely uh, thing to show off your double skills and also my favorite of the evening Emma Pask who if you do a little bit of uh, checking around on the on the tube of you you find that Emma is actually has been a battle girl for me before so we know each other we've done raffles together um, and uh, oh Emma I just thought she was just fantastic what a beautiful singer and I have to say I have never liked belting everyone knows that but my god when Emma pulled out that last note at the end of her song well I got absolute pillow erection which is the proper name for when your hair stand on end so what a great night can't wait to see what happens tonight um, I do want to finish because I know that a lot of you um, have been following you know my private life uh, on these vlogs and I I have got another a curfew email from uh, Adams Stone uh, my my sort of friend on the Facebook um, 
Unfortunately, this is why Pater has left me. Uh, he did discover that Adams and I was writing to each other and he became very upset about that. Um, I think he's being a little oversensitive, but uh, that is why he has left. Um, he's only gone down to the rubbish room, so it's not very far away. But most of all, I'm very sad about Trevor because I haven't seen him for a whole day and uh, and he's been down there in the rubbers room with, uh, with Peter. But um, look, I'll read you a few things about Adams because things have really gone quite quickly and and, uh, and I like to hear your advice because you are my, you know, my friends out there in the cyber space world and, uh, and so I like to share this with you. So um, I was talking about Peter going out with his theatre ladies and Adams Adams uh, said to me, why would he do that? Forgive him. Why would Peter leave you, leave you alone at home that bad? But never worry, Jan. I will try and be here for you any time. I'm from Italy, Rome. Uh, I have been hurt before and I have taken the time to heal. But how long will I continue to be scarred to give out my heart? Your primary picture is beautiful. Do you believe in miracles? I love vacation, outing with family, beach walk as well as shopping. My wish here is to get involved in a serious relationship, marriage or wish to meet a lady and intend to get married. I live in Lompoc, California. I said, forgive me Adams for not writing sooner. I've been busy teaching my workshops and knitting Trevor a winter jacket. It is getting cold in Boy Boy. Peter is out tonight with his craft night and I'm home alone. He is a cheese craft enthusiast crafting iconic scenescapes entirely out of Dutch cheese. It's boring. I have not told Peter that I'm writing with you but I have told Trevor. I trust Trevor with anything even if sometimes he judges me. Thank you for liking my pictures. I do feel beautiful in them and glad you can see that. I like your pictures and your Italian accent that I can tell you have from your spelling. Adams Stone is not a particularly Italian name, is it your American name? It's lovely to talk with you. Peter is quite boring to talk to as we know everything about each other, as we have known each other since we were born, two days apart, as we are cousins as well as man and wife. Well, I am more wife than he is man. I wish I could walk on the beach with you. I like walking. And then he wrote, oh my sweet Jan, <laughs> how was Trevor and what did he say about me when you told him you was writing with me? It's a bit weird because Trevor can't talk because he's a cat, but he might have not realised that. My American friends call me just Adams Stone, but my full name is Adams Stone Amshad. Amshad meaning miraculous. I wish I could walk on the beach with you and kiss your golden lips. I said, I am married Adams but we are more like cousins than husband and wife because we are also cousins. I don't like kissing very much but maybe it's only because I've only kissed Peter. Maybe kissing you would be different. <laughs> Adams Stone Amshad, that is an unusual name. So Amshad is Italian for miraculous. Everything you call me when you call me beautiful, I get a funny feeling in my lower body part that I've never had before. I cannot stop thinking about you. I've looked at your profile many times, but there's not many photos or posts there. And then I wrote to him after that, I'm devastated, Adams. I just had another look at your profile and see you've been lying to me. It says you live in Texas, Houston, not Longbuck, California, and that you originally come from Canada, not Italy. Why would you lie? Are you also lying about wanting to kiss my golden lips? And he said, I'm not lying. Why would I lie? I lived all my life in Texas, also schooled they before my dad and mum did. Nobody to look after me in Texas, so I went to live with my grandpa in Italy. I can't stop thinking of you too, but it hurts me when you say I'm lying to you. I never lied and God knows my mind. It's crazy you're married, but I don't care. I can't stop thinking of you, Jan. <sighs> Please, my queen, send me your lovely letter to clam my heart. And I then wrote back, Yes, Adams, I'm just busy as I run workshops at the Scout Hall and I'm basically a self-help guru to many people. I'm sorry your mum and dad are dead. That is sad. My mother and father are still alive, but both of them have lost their minds, and that is sad, but mostly irritating because they never remember anything. Why does it say you're originally from Ontario, Canada? How does that fit in the story? And why is your spelling and your grasping of English so bad? I confided in Helen, the tea and coffee lady at the Scout Hall, and she's also my penis, but about our letters, and she thinks you're not a real person. But she's just jealous because she's never married and she has a female moustache. 
I cannot always write to you as Peter is here a lot and I think I'm falling in love with you Adams but I feel guilty I don't want Trevor to be from a broken home and there he wrote back why do people hate me why do they think I'm not real I'm in love with you Jan I swear to God but you can you be my girlfriend here and let's keep this a secret please honey your friends don't want me around and it hurt and Trevor won't be from a broken home okay please honey accept my proposal I'm in love with you Jan Oh, and then he said afterwards, I'm also sorry about your mum and dad too. It was nice. So, you know, i leave it there for the moment, but there's more. He wrote more and things have happened, but I will tell you about that in this evening's vlog because it's already 10 minutes and that's far too long for any vlogs because I know that because I did the course at the New South Wales TAFE. 